so it all started here, well, kind of, because we used to have a different playhouse here which was much smaller and blue. And my dad said it would be a great idea to have guinea pigs in here. So we did consider that option, but we decided it wasn't really suitable for guinea pigs, so we didn't go ahead with that. But that was where the first idea came from. So at the time we only had two guinea pigs and they had a hutch outside. So there was the hutch there and then during the day we brought them inside and they had an indoor cage which was very small. It was the Zoo Zone 2 cage. It was mainly for my benefit rather than theirs because it was very small. But I did give them a lot of attention and love. So at the time we only had two guinea pigs named Ruby and Millie. Ruby and Millie really didn't get along and when we introduced the third guinea pig there was a lot more bickering. So what happened was we had two guinea pigs living in the Zoo Zone 2 cage and then Ruby lived by herself in a third class cage. We then decided that we wanted to get a neutered male so we did and this really helped with their bond and we moved all the girls back together with this male and they got along so well but we decided we would like to build them a wooden cage so we you know, expanded what they had. We did actually have a different shed, it's not the one we have here. so tonight I'm doing an updated shed tour so not that much has changed to be honest but then I guess there's a lot of new toys and stuff so let's get inside because it's absolutely freezing outside so as you can see we've got the new CNC level today and it's basically exactly the same as the one over here Here they have a mount of hay which Oreo is demonstrating eating. She's good at that. I also had two males who lived together but they didn't get along so we had to separate them. They also lived in the shed and they had quite a nice setup. So yeah, it did work well for the guinea pigs at the time who we had. It is a wooden converted run. So it's made from different slabs of wood and we kind of like attached it all together and made this beautiful wooden thing. And he has his house because he's been a good boy. He hasn't been weeing all over it like Bramley has. We then got this really nice garden building, as you can see we're quite a fan of our garden buildings. So in here is where we then moved our guinea pigs, they were in this side of the room. So at the time we had a group of four guinea pigs. As you can see they're all really tired because they've been on the grass all day and I hope you found it interesting just seeing the guinea pigs runs updated again. Then we had the two lone boars on this side who were living separately. Here is his house and he's just sleeping in there at the minute. Finally we have Bramley's run. Then on this side of the room we had two more male guinea pigs who we adopted. So we've just had this perspex fitted in today. The wooden perspex cages worked really nicely for quite a long time and they were just really nice to look at. I guess they were really good for me because I got a good view of them and it was good for interacting with them and cleaning them. It was very good for me but on the other hand some of the cages were a little bit small for the guinea pigs. So then what we did was we moved our herd. They lived in a really nice large CNC cage which filled like the whole of this side and it worked really nicely. Hi everyone, today's video is going to be the guinea pigs cage tours. We got this from a garden centre and it's just the perfect size for them because 
I find that pet shop list trays only fit like two of them in. And because that worked so nicely for our hood, I decided I would like something similar on this side of the room. And now moving on to the boys' enclosure. And we built this really nice large split cage so they could all interact and it was so nice for them. They would cuddle up together despite not actually living directly with each other. So over the time of having the CNC cages, I had various different setups. We got Bramley neutered and he moved in with the herd because our previous neutered boar passed away. Then we actually lost a few of our males, so we had a pair at one point living in this really large cage, but eventually most of our males passed away apart from Bramley, so then we decided just to have one group of guinea pigs all living together. We had a really nice large cage which was in a giant L shape and it was huge, it worked really well during the time we introduced all the guinea pigs together because they needed loads of space. <laughs> This is what their enclosure looks like and it's called a CNC cage. this set up quite a long time we decided we would like an outdoor summer cage for the guinea pigs so they could live in here over winter and over there in the summer. We chose this location because it was the shady part of the garden making it suitable for the warm season which is where we plan to keep them all the time and we started to build this outdoor enclosure which did take quite a few months but it was really worth it in the end. Hey sweetie, hello. <laughs> oh, she's so cute. She's actually grown so much. And Panda's hiding behind the hay rack. Let's see if we can see her. There she is, hello. The other hutch is all the way down there, so yeah, it's just nice for them to have somewhere else um, to shelter. Miffy's so cheeky, she's just jumped into this area. Ruby's trying to get in now. No, don't jump it. Oh dear. Oh, they've all worked it out now. Oh, you're so cheeky. No, don't jump in. Panda's trying as well. <laughs> really well but we decided we would want to keep the guinea pigs out here all year round so they wouldn't go back in the room so then later in the summer we got this shed this was to make it suitable for all seasons and I'm really glad we decided to do this because it worked so well for the guinea pigs and they just can keep really warm in here So after a few months we actually did adopt two rabbits as you can see out here and because we adopted the rabbits we thought that maybe the aviary in the shed would be better for the rabbits because they needed more space and at the time we only had this small outdoor run and not this big one here and we had that joined onto the playhouse so we did a big cage swap and the guinea pigs actually moved into this area and
house was so nice for the guinea pigs during the warmer months it worked really well there were some really hot days where we had to move them out of here because it's in direct sunlight but it was a really nice enclosure and did work well however it did get to the colder season and we decided that this wasn't going to keep them warm enough because there was no way of getting their hutch in here so we had to rethink and because we built this enclosure here coming off of the playhouse we decided we could move the rabbits back into here and move the guinea pigs back to where they originally were And this is where the guinea pigs now live. The guinea pigs have been back in the shed a good few weeks now and it's working really nicely. There's nothing I would want to change. I'm not going to say that we'll never change things again because it's a constantly evolving hobby and you can never quite guarantee, you know, what will be next but for now this setup is really really great and i wouldn't really change it at all the guinea pigs also have access to the outdoor area so now i will take you into the guinea pigs current aviary I have my two newest guinea pigs named Bonnie and Tea Cake. They live indoors because I adopted them in autumn and it was too cold for them to live outdoors. I may integrate them to the rest of the herd in the springtime but I'm not too sure. They get along really well and I just think it's quite nice to have two indoors as well. So these two live indoors in quite a large CNC cage, actually goes under this cage so you can't really see how big it is. And I just wanted to say that I hope this video has given you some ideas if you are going to be new guinea pig owners. Hopefully this is going to save you money because we have spent a lot of money on different setups for our guinea pigs because it's a constantly changing thing. We've had various different group sizes and we have had to use different methods to accommodate our guinea pigs but now we've found something which works really well but I just hope that it's going to save you guys a lot of money because you'll know what you want first time round rather than having to go sort of the hard way but I'm glad we've been through all these different setups and it's been really good to experience all of them so yeah I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you guys next time bye